Hey everybody, welcome back to Majestic Collectibles. So this is uh, uh, the Silver Bronze Age Collection. Um, let's see, part five. Uh, Halloween special, so happy Halloween everybody. Uh, I shot this one, um, well, just for Halloween. You'll see why. I could actually probably shoot about four other uh, Halloween special videos. And uh, if you're keeping up with the uh, videos and the collection, You'll see why. A lot of fun. If you're sci-fi horror guys, uh, you're in for some treats, not just in this video, but some future videos too. So check those out. Click like, hit subscribe. Let's get started. And uh, these are something I don't see. And uh, I don't see them um, when I do get them in terrible shape. Skywalled. Uh, so far, and again, I haven't I haven't picked through these, but these are a lot uh, harder for me to get than the creepy and eerie stuff. And wonderful covers on there. Uh, I got to sit down. You know, I've I have a handful of these, but I don't think I've got the run. I've been trying to put the the run together for a while. Uh, Boris Vallejo cover, and. Uh, I'm really excited. Most of these guys are going right in the uh, the PC, the personal collection. I'm just I'm just telling you right now. Uh, I might have a couple of dupes, but I doubt very many. Um, and if I did have any dupes, they would not be in this nice of shape. Uh, these are these are pretty sharp, I think. Just trying to remember what I looked through them for uh, when I was going through the collection the first time. So this is interesting. Hot Cars, Motor Trend, The Spirit. I had one of those. Frankenstein, 69. This will be the magazine. Heavy Metal, okay. Well, I look forward to that. Call, Savage Sword, Savage Tales. Oh, that could be good if Savage Tales is in here. That's the first appearance of uh, Conan uh, in Marvel Comics. Well, in comics. Uh, Monsters Unleashed, Nightmare, Planet of the Apes. Tales of the Zombie, Vampire Tales, Dracula Lives, holy cow, look at that, I'm hoping, hoping those are in here. That's another typed up list from uh, the original owner, I'm guessing. So we'll see if some of those heavy metal and uh, some of those savage tales are in here. That would be really neat. Really nice shape, love that cover. Uh, great cover on that. Those are finally kind of starting to get uh, get some collector attention on those uh, Marvel mags. Oh, Battlestar Galactica. That wasn't on the list. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that was from the TV movie. Oh, yeah. Universal Movie Spectacular. So it was on TV. And it was such a big hit, they put it in uh, theaters. And I got to see it uh, both ways, I guess. Oh, there's that 1994. I think we had 1984 in that first... Uh, video with the vampies and creepies and eeries this one's a little rough on that unknown worlds those aren't too hard to find i've found most of those i don't know if everybody now i can't remember what the acronym stands for rocket blast comic collector 135 it's uh it's a fanzine and you can see it's typed up but it has has art has info you know before the internet that was the way to go, and um, well, there you could order some Star uh, Star Trek stills. Virgil Finley, if you're a pulp uh, collector like I am, that name will really stand out. And oh, Doug Manch from Pennsylvania. So you you would recognize uh, if you're a diehard comic guy, you would actually recognize some names in there that uh, did articles and interviews for those things. Uh, there's the Spirit that was on the list. Um, don't have a lot of luck with these resale on the spirit stuff. Uh, there's a few folks, but uh, they're generally slow movers. These are not the Dracula cover stuff. That's a Curtis magazine. Oh, and here's some more. Whoop, I can get it there. Fantastic cover. Seeing a little more wear on these going down. So these are getting a little, little rougher uh, than those first few. Probably back into that VG territory, but still, that's that's probably nicer than uh, almost every one I've got in my collection. I've got ones they've got chunks missing on them and writing on the cover and really wrinkled. Um, so I'm really excited when I get a chance, which is going to be a while. Oh, there's more Rocket Blast. Great cover on that. Was that Frank Thorne? 
Let me see if it'll tell me who who did the cover on that one. Alert. Well, that's that's an ad. Uh, front and back cover, Steve Fabian. Kind of a Frank Thorne style there. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting down after the first of the year and uh, going through these and sorting out and upgrading my collection. I wish I had time to do it before Christmas, but I do not. And I can tell you right now, I just reordered a bunch of comic supplies. Hey, here's something you guys can help me with. So I've been w with BCW for a long time. Oh, there's a Savage Sword. And um, I don't know, their, their boards seem to be fine. Oh, there's number one. Uh, but their bags have really had trouble with them splitting or not being quite the right size. Oh, great covering that Horror Tales. So I've been thinking about going a different direction. Uh, I know Ultra Pro is an option. Are there any other options out there? Uh, if any collectors or other dealers have worked with any other uh, wholesale uh, supply distributors, uh, let me know. I'd be kind of curious to shop around a little bit. And there we go, Conan. Oh, that's a oh 93. Yeah, I'd say that was a higher number. Now these, these are tough to get. That's a run I've been trying to put uh, together. That's uh, Sinbad, Ray Harryhausen movie. Uh, Carolyn Monroe was in that. Uh, I do not have that issue, so I know I need that one, and I know I need this one too. Because I've only got four or five. Oh, another great uh, Ray Harryhausen uh, movie. I think, is that the BC one? I can't remember. I can't remember anymore. There's so oh, there's Jason on the Argonauts, I'm guessing, is in there. Um, oh, this one I have, that's uh, that's Barnabas Collins. Oh, that one's got some creasing. My, uh, my copy of that one might actually be better than that one. Uh, here's one that's a little rough, unfortunately, but a nice Star Trek photo cover. Uh, they usually do sell. Uh, another Planet of the Apes. Uh, and that's a photo cover. It had Barnabas on that one, too. That usually sells. Here's, yikes, what's left of a heavy metal cover, I guess. Uh, shock. So these are reprints of, like, pre-code horror stuff, and they kind of... I don't know if it's this one. They, they maybe touched up the art in some places to make it a little, you know, bloody or whatever. Uh, they do sell. They do sell. I don't see a lot of them. And I don't think I've got that one. Oh, shoot. There's a... There's a Joe Jusco cover, one of my favorite cover artists. He did some comics, but not a lot. I don't know if I can press that out. It's pretty... pretty wrinkled in there. Animal House, so you know this is uh, this has been around a while. I was just gonna look, Volume Three, Number Two, Seventy Eight. That's too bad. I hope and I can get that. I do have that issue, so it's for me it's not too big a deal. But somebody will want it. Here's a really trashed. I can <laughs> I can barely hang on to it. The cover is so loose. I think it's just gonna the interior is just gonna fall out. Oh, I'm betcha that's the uh, yeah. It looks like the inside of that heavy metal missing the cover. And here's another heavy metal and another kind of messed up cover along the spine. I'm thinking these were sticking out the edge and kind of rolled. And let me see, we're going to get, oh, well, there's July of 77. So we're getting down there in number. Let me see what number uh, this one is here. Oh, Den's in that one. Anything with the uh, Den covers Mobius. I'm just trying to figure out. We got to be getting close to uh, the number one somewhere down the line. And I'm going to flip that. Try and keep that straight. Can we keep it going? No. Back to spirit. That's unfortunate. I'd rather have the heavy metals. Oh, here we go. So I guess that's all I had to do is uh, just whine a little bit on that. Uh, this one's pretty rough, creasing. Interesting silver. Uh, covers actually was kind of a shiny uh, glossy cover so that's number six volume one number six I knew we were getting close let's see if we're heading the right direction oh, that's 78 so no that's we're going the wrong way on that one volume uh, two number three so is that around 15 issue 15 or so oh that's a beautiful cover 1978 so again it's 
it's not a low uh, low number but that one's in really great shape especially compared to the others now what is oh uh, that's a shame uh, these aren't super rare or super valuable, but I've always liked the Spider-Man magazines. Uh, I believe they're 1968, 68 or 69, and they were kind of a little more for grown-ups. They weren't like a hard-rated R or anything, but, um, you know, it had a lot of potential. They weren't uh, comics code. Oh, I don't have this one. That's number one, Dracula Lives. It's a little rough, but uh, I won't throw it away. Um, but these, and I've never had a high grade one. I've had a number of the low grade ones. Someday I'm going to have to just get a high grade one. Oh, there's a vampy. So I guess we were missing one from the first box, number 11. I still haven't even got those bagged and boarded. I'm waiting to get um, some supplies in. That's what's kind of brought my question up about, uh, um, about other suppliers other than BCW, and, I, and I'm not hat, hating on BCW. They've always treated me well, I can't complain. Uh, but you know, I'm kind of just wondering what else is out there at this point. Oh, here's the, uh, here's the magazine, oh, I was right even. 1968, that is number one, that's, that's a shame. Oh, Heavy Metal May 77, this one isn't too bad. And this is, let me see. Mobius did so many covers on the first one. And I don't know why. They always seem to have trouble finding the, uh, the volume and issue number on some of these, especially the early ones. And I can't remember which one it is. I don't believe that's number one, though. I can't remember. You'd think I'd handle enough of this stuff that I would remember that stuff, but I don't. That's why I buy the price guides in the books. Oh, there's a Savage Sword uh, uh, number two. Does have a kind of a bag. Oh, it's got a tear there. Boy, it sure presents well. And let's just see what year this is. 74. The rest of it looks intact. Some of these, these got over glue, and sometimes the pages will just fall out or the covers get ripped off, torn off. Uh, creepy 14, what's left of it. Oh, here's Savage Tales. Uh, let me see. That's a good book. Oh, it's just, I don't know if you can see the wear on it. It's got Cull in there. And um, 1973, so that's number two. So I'm hoping that one's in here. It was on the list. It was on that type list. And here we have number three. Still a great cover, though. And let's see, what do we got? Ah, it's Heavy Metal. All right. Better shape than some of them, though. So a couple of nice heavy metals in there. Now there's another one. Looks like that's kind of all Mobius covers there. Oh, there's a 77. Let's see if I can figure out. That's Bernie Wrightson. No wonder I like that cover. He's one of my favorite sci-fi and mainly horror guys. Uh, on that one. Back cover by Mobius on this one, of course. And uh, doggone it, you guys are yelling at me at home, and that's fine, I get it. But I sure can't find the issue number on that silly thing. Aha, uh -huh, maybe we got it up here. Nope. Oh, there it is, April 77. This is August 77, so we need April 77 as the first, uh, first heavy metal. Either that or the Tarni issue. February 78... Uh, Wrap around covers. And then we'll get to the other stack here. X-Men. And it's a graphic novel series. These are starting to pick up steam uh, among collectors, but this one's pretty rough, so I don't think that's gonna have a whole lot of value to it. Creepy 52, great cover there. Oh, here's a tough series to get. Here's a tough one. These are ones I don't see, Nightmare. 1971, it's another Skywald. And I was just gonna look, is it gonna tell me which issue it is? There it is, number six. Here's another Nightmare. I just don't get many of these in any condition, even rough. Uh, number four there. Ooh, March of 78, we gotta get that April of 77. 1994 series. Uh, this actually wasn't a bad series. I don't get too many people um, 
looking for it. Uh, I've had several runs of it, uh, and they do sell very slowly. But if you want to check something out, sci-fi horror, uh, obviously it was you know it was a takeoff of heavy metal, and they they made no apologies about that. Uh, but it really wasn't that bad of a, a run on those 1984-94 makes. Here's call number three. Uh, call anything is not does not take off you know there's just you know conan's kind of where it's at but that's got red sonny in it so they will buy them for a crossover uh, one of the more famous heavy metal magazines uh, that's december 77 the christmas that's actually in really nice shape to be honest with you so that should uh that should sell pretty well november 77 mm, january 78 another great cover on there is that uh, Mayo? I think I read that name right. Oh, this is a change up. I don't remember seeing these when I was looking at the collection. Uh, kind of funny. I like the covers. They, um, I guess you would say they were, uh, I don't know, esoteric collectible. There's people that really, really like them, but I don't get a lot of mainstream buyers. Here's what mostly sells is if they have a, uh, a movie parody cover, uh, and it's got to be a good movie parody, not not that one. Uh, Saga is kind of a, a men's um, magazine, I guess, Tough Guy magazine. Uh, don't really have much luck selling those. Uh, Argosy, one of the longest running anthology magazines in history and nobody cares i i don't really have much interest uh in those from anybody rock and gem oh boy we are just going completely off the rails i hope we get back on soon and we do so here's the 1984 which is the earlier series that looks like a uh, richard corbin cover there and why they went from 1984 and then skipped 10 years to 1994, I'm sure there's a story there. If anybody knows it, let me know because I have no idea. I, I don't know why they did that. That's, um, I've got a pulp magazine from the 50s, and I got to tell you, that is very close to that. Somebody is definitely inspired by that one. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting... Another Tales of the Zombie. Uh, again, just don't see them in, in great grade uh, or at all. There's another 1994. And um, here we go. I like that. Uh, here's something I don't see a lot of. They don't bring big money. Uh, Rampaging Hulk 1. And I don't think he's in this one, but actually... Uh, uh, these are really good. I've never been a Hulk fan, but I always thought the magazines were better. And then uh, Moon Knight was in uh, some of these. Some of the Rampaging Hulk mags had uh, uh, the original Mark Spector, uh, Mercenary Moon Knight stories. Uh, I don't have that cover, I can tell you that. But I don't see a lot of interest in the Rampaging Hulk magazines. I don't know why, but if you're a, if you're a fan, you should probably pick them up, because I don't think many of them have been reprinted. Another Tales of the Zombie. Mm, yeah, not. First issue, I'll look it up, but uh, I don't notice how there's a whole lot of interest in that one. 94. Or 1994. So here we go, back to Savage Tales. Great covers. Great covers on these. Um, the later ones nobody really wants, but I'm telling you these early, well, there you go. Uh, and it's, yeah, they even rated it in, which is voluntary, uh, on that. But, um, volume one, number one, and I wanted to show you who's in there. You got Roy Thomas, Stanley and John Romita, Jerry Conway, Gray Morrow, uh, Gene Colan, uh, Stanley and John Basima, John Basima, Bill Everett, Marie Severin, Sam Rosen, Artie Simic. Uh, Roy Thomas was the editor on that. Stan Lee, of course, editor and director. I'm just telling you, it was an all-star effort on these. And the stories actually in the art were, were fantastic. Um, I do have that. I think mine is better than that. I'll have to dig that out again and check. It's not one I see a lot. Here's another Savage Tales. K 
Kazar, which is another character that really never caught on. 1994, we gotta be getting close to being out of those. There weren't that many of them made. <laughs> uh, so, Mad Magazine, October 71. Odyssey, interesting attempt. Um, kind of your really super geeky, nerdy, hardcore attempt at sci-fi uh, versus the more mainstream, you know, ray guns and boobs stories. That was that was a little more, I guess, science-based. Uh, if if that was, that's probably not actually accurate, but you know what I'm trying to say. Oh, there we go. Uh, so there's a mad. See, it's got a tricky dick on the front. Some of these. Nope. Um, so this is the annual edition. It should have a couple of posters in there is what I'm looking for, but they're gone, which is typical. They're worth, they're actually fairly collectible if you got the uh, posters and stickers and stuff in there. Mm, well, there's a hot rod cars or hot cars. Uh, those things have really fallen off. Here's another cartoons. Had one in the first box. Uh, that was incomplete. This one feels complete, just mashed. And these are uh, these are another one that uh, I think were really, really popular um, up until maybe three, four, five years ago. And now they've kind of kind of faded off. Uh, you really have to have them super high grade. Then they then they go pretty well, just like a lot of things. But these low grade readers are uh, pretty slow now. I just don't have people looking at them or or picking them up when they're uh, in this condition. Five ten bucks used to be fifteen to twenty five, and you know higher if you had a real nice one. Uh, here's one I do not have. I've never had this. Uh, I've seen pictures of it in some places, probably on the internet, and uh, I don't know. I, that is definitely going in the PC, I think. If I have one, I sure don't remember it, which is which is possible. It's number four. Uh, but kind of a almost a pre-exorcist or exorcist kind of cover I don't know what you want to call it but really really cool uh, another savage sword that's a high number number 90 uh, good another nightmare great cover on that that's another Boris Vajeo and here's another nightmare look at that April 71 um, I tell you what I was really hoping that heavy metal number one was going to be in here but I don't see it but I'm not going to be disappointed with these uh, another nightmare I think we just got a couple of books left another nightmare princess of earth um, I can't make out the signature I should know it though I don't remember it uh, creepy yearbook again the yearbooks don't generally do as well as the original issues uh, but people do pick them up if they're cheap and finally in this box anyway another savage sword so that's it for the Halloween special but I told you I got a lot more stuff coming sci-fi horror superhero oddball and we've got about 10 more boxes left so I'm figuring 10 more videos so check those out and thanks for watching